Hey everyone, this is my latest project. This is a 1989 Lotus Esprit Turbo. I picked this up on Craigslist, found it in Montana, and I brought it home. I thought it was a pretty awesome project. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot to do with this vehicle. This Lotus doesn't need a whole lot. As you can see, it's pretty clean. The body's pretty straight. The alternator is intermittently charging. There's a couple scratches that need to be fixed and the paint needs to be buffed. The passenger side window rolls down okay, but doesn't roll up that fast. The interior needs a good detailing. I'm missing one center cap. And the speedometer looks like it's been replaced with something that belongs on NASCAR. Anyway, I'm gonna address these few problems with this vehicle and try to get it back on the road looking right. I thought it would take a few minutes to go over the car and show you guys a couple weird things about this car that's about 30 years old. Pop up headlights. I got about 44 inches on the tape measure. That's about it. This car literally has a cigarette lighter in both doors. I guess to keep the car symmetrical, they have these vents on both sides of the car. And believe it or not, both of them are fuel doors. There's actually two fuel tanks on this car connected by a pipe to connect them together. This is a mid-engine car, which means the engine is in the back, the transmission is actually behind that. When you pop the trunk or the engine lid, this is what you see. Open the front, right there, that area, that's where the engine is. This is all available trunk, so that's what you get. One thing that I do like about this car is that it has 15 inch wheels on it, on the front and on the back. You don't see wheels this size anymore. Even most of your cheap cars out there nowadays at least have a 16 or 17 inch wheel. This is the interior and I'll show you more about it later, but I did want to show you some of the weird things in it. This right here, that's the emergency brake. It's on the edge of the car. So basically what happens is once you set it, you can't get out. But actually Lotus did at least think about that because you can lower it back down once it's set. And then if you want to disengage it, you can raise it back up, pull it, go back down, and now it's back off again. This is the dash in the Lotus. Sorry for the glare. And I'll show you what's on here. You've got a battery gauge. You've got a couple warning lights. You've got oil pressure, you've got the tachometer, the boost gauge, the aftermarket speedometer that I'm going to swap out, there's the temp gauge, and there's the fuel level. Along with that, you've got a couple warning lights up top there as well. This is the vent layout. It's kind of pointed really weird. In fact, I don't even know how far it will even adjust toward you. There's that one. There's one on the other side. There's this one here and this one here. There is very limited storage in this car. You do have the glove box there that's actually pretty deep, but there's no back seat. You get what's called a map pocket, which is what this right here is. Other than that, you're looking at the back glass. This is the controls for the air conditioner and heater along with the Blancpain tape deck. This was probably state of the art back in the day. Now this is just uh, something that you put your adapter in so you can plug your phone into it. One of my projects on this car is actually going to be having to change the alternator. The alternator is located all the way in the very front up there and there is literally maybe two inches of space to work in there that's after maybe I can get these pipes out so I got this thing washed and waxed and it looks pretty good I'm pretty excited about it I see a couple dings well not dings but I see a couple scratches in the paint and a couple chips here and there but overall the car is pretty clean can't really fuss too bad about it. It definitely needed a good detailing after being on that truck coming from Montana to North Carolina. So uh, you can see that it's, it doesn't look that bad. A couple little chips that were noticeable are like here on the door. You can see that one right there. I saw some touch up work that have been done on this corner right down here. 
that's really not that big of a deal but there's something going on right there and there's some touch-up paint been applied there that scoop you can see it's missing some paint around the doors needs a little bit of work but nothing too bad car is pretty clean I'm pretty excited about it it seems to crank up and run pretty well let's take it for a drive 